Um, in this video, I am going to solve a simple problem about simple stress, particularly about normal stress. Here's the problem. Determine the mass of the heaviest cylinder, uniform cylinder, that can be supported in the position shown without exceeding a stress of 80 megapascal in cable BC. Neglect friction and the weight of bar EB. The cross-sectional area of BC is 150 millimeter square. So, what is asked is the mass of the heaviest uniform cylinder. Now, and the given quantities are stress of cable BC, which is 80, uh, allowable stress, and also cross-sectional area of BC, which is 150 millimeter square. So using the stress formula, we can solve for the force of BC, given the stress and area. So what we will do is to draw the free body diagram of the cylinder and also the free body diagram of bar EB. And let's identify the forces. So this is the cylinder and this is the bar EB. Okay. Now let's identify the forces starting with bar EB. We have tension of BC and then we also have this one, the force between the, the cylinder and the bar. Now if you look at the figure, the cylinder will exert a compressive force towards the bar EB directed to fourth quadrant. So the force must be perpendicular, perpendicular to bar. And then for A, in support, we have reactions horizontal and then reactions vertical, vertical reaction. Now, for the cylinder, okay, we have F1, uh, compressive also, so second quadrant ang direction, F1. And then we have the weight, and then this force. No? Because the cylinder will also exert a compressive force towards the wall. Okay. So we have this one, F2. Okay. So, so that we can solve for W, we need a value of F1. Uh, when we use or when we sum up force along the vertical no? to get rid of the other unknown F2. So to solve for F1, we need to analyze first the bar EB. Okay. Now, Again, the given quantities are the stress of the allowable stress of cable BC, which is ET, and the cross-sectional area of BC, which is 150 millimeters square. So, solving for TBC, this is this is the formula: stress equal to force over area, and let's substitute values. Now, the unit of stress is mega pascal. Okay. And mega pascal is equivalent to newton per millimeter square. So, ET equal to the force tension BC over cross-sectional area. We can cancel out millimeter square and what remains is newton. So, to solve for tension BC, we need to cross multiply 150 to the left side and we have tbc equal to 12000 newtons okay after this one let's solve for f1 so to solve for f1 we need to sum up force about a oh sorry this is a summation of moment about a now for f1 since this is perpendicular to the bar eb the perpendicular distance of F1 to point A is 4. Now for TBC, which is horizontal, 
the perpendicular distance must be vertical. So we need to determine or find out the vertical distance or the perpendicular distance of TBC to point A. Okay. Looking at this figure, this distance is given 6 and then the hypotenuse is 10. So for this right triangle, we can solve for this leg. So this is 6. And by Pythagorean theorem, the other leg is equal to square root of hypotenuse squared 10 squared minus 6 squared. And the answer is 8. So 8 is the perpendicular distance of TBC to point A. So sign convention is counterclockwise positive. So at the moment of F1 is negative since clockwise. And for TBC, positive since it's counterclockwise. Okay, we have TBC times distance 8 minus F1 times perpendicular distance 4. So solving for F1, we will substitute the value of TBC, 12,000. And transpose this term. And then after multiplying, you divide 4. So F1 is equal to 24,000. After this, we will now consider the cylinder. No? Okay. <clears throat> so for the cylinder, what we will do is we will sum up forces sa along the vertical. <clears throat> so we need this angle theta. No? Okay. So, if this is theta, for this one, if one, we can draw a horizontal line. So, for this triangle, the total is 100, the total angle is 180, interior angle is 180. So, this one is 90. And if this is theta, then this angle is 90 minus theta. 180 minus 90 minus theta. So the remaining angle is 90 minus theta. And since this is 90 degrees, this is theta also. And if this is theta, this angle is also theta. Therefore, the vertical component is F1 sine theta. This component, no? opposite side, F1 sine theta. So, submission of force along the vertical, sign convention upward force positive. We have this one. F1 sine sin theta minus W equal to zero. So, solving for theta or sine theta, we can make use of this triangle. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine theta is 6 over 10 or simply 0.6. So next is we, we substitute the value of F1 and the value of sine theta. And for weight, it's mass times G. So it's mass times acceleration due to gravity. So transpose this term. And then after multiplying this one, the two values divide it by 9.81. And so the mass is equal to 1,468 kilograms. So that's it. So if given a problem where there are more than one uh, bodies, you need to draw a separate free body diagram for each body. So I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.